Welcome to the fourth part of HCF, Highest Common Factor. We have seen two methods of finding the HCF. Now we will be dealing with a long division method and we will see some applications of it. Let's see the first example of the day. Find the greatest number which will divide 47 and 67 leaving remainder 7 in each case. Here in this case I have two numbers 47 and 67. What I have to find out is the biggest number which divides 47 as well as 67 but leaves the remainder of 7 in each case. So my first step will be to subtract 7 from both these numbers. 47 minus 7 gives me 40. 67 minus 7 gives me 60. Now as you see that I have subtracted the remainder from the dividend. I have subtracted the remainder. That means whatever is remaining is perfectly divisible by the number which I am going to find out. Because I have subtracted the remainder, 40 as well as 60, both these numbers are perfectly divisible by that number which was remaining the, which was leaving a remainder of 7. But now it won't leave any remainder as I have subtracted the remainder already. So now what I do is, by long division method, I find out the HCF of 40 and 60. That will be my answer. I write 60 inside. Here it will be 40. 40 ones are 40. The remainder is 20. And now the divisor from the first step becomes the dividend in the second step. 20 twos are 40. When once I get the remainder as 0, this is the time to stop and this answer, this divisor of the last step becomes the HCF. So my HCF, that is the highest common factor is 20. Here the final answer is 20. We can check also when 47 is divided by 20, I get 7 as the remainder. When 67 is divided by 20, once again I get 7 as the remainder. So, this is the correct answer. Let's do another example. Find the greatest number which divides 63 and 147 leaving remainder 3 and 7 respectively. Here I have another question where two numbers are given 63 and 147. I have to find out the biggest number which when divides 63 leaves a remainder of 3. And the biggest number, the same number which when divides 147, it leaves a remainder of 7. So as in the earlier case, we have to see that once we subtract the remainder from the dividend, the divisor will be perfectly divisible by the dividend. Let's see, 63 minus 3, this will be 60. Here 147 minus 7 will be giving me 140. Now these two dividends, that means these two numbers are perfectly divisible by one same number which will be the biggest number that is the highest common factor. Let's start doing the long division method. 140 being the bigger number will be inside. Here it will be 60. 60 twos are 120. Once again the remainder 20. And this divisor of the first step becomes the dividend in the next step. 23 is a 60. The moment I get a remainder of 0, I stop here and this divisor is my highest common factor of the numbers 60 and 140. So my HCF is 20. Let's see whether this answer is correct or not. Once when I divide, 60 divided by 20, it gives me 3. 140 divided by 20 gives me 7 without any remainder in both the cases. Now, if I divide 63 by 20, I get a remainder of 3. When I divide 147 and 20, 147 divided by 20 will give me a remainder of 7. So, this is my required answer. Once again, I repeat, whenever the numbers are given and the remainders are given, 
Subtract the remainders and the remaining number is perfectly divisible by the required number which we have to find out. That means the HCF will be perfectly a factor of these two numbers. So let's do another example. Find the greatest number which will divide 59, 98 and 153 leaving remainders 2, 3 and 1 respectively. In this example, I have three numbers, 59, 98 and 153. Here when I see that when 59, 98 and 153 are divisible by one number, that is the HCF, the remainder is 2 here, 3 and 1 respectively. Let's see how to proceed with this. 59 minus 2. My first step is 59 minus 2, that is 57. Similarly, 98 minus 3 will be 95 and 153 minus 1 is equal to 152. You know why we are doing this now? Because we know that when the remainders are subtracted from the numbers, these numbers become perfectly divisible by one number, which we have to find out. So now let's start doing the long division method. 95 and 57. 57 will be the divisor. 95 being the bigger number will be the dividend. 57 ones are 57. I am having 38. Once again this becomes the dividend. The divisor of the first step becomes the dividend. 31 ones are 38. And this is 19. 19 and this becomes the dividend here. 38. 19 twos are 38. And my remainder is 0. So that means 19 is the highest common factor of 57 and 95. Now what I do is I check this 19 and 152. Whether this is also divisible exactly by 152. So I write 152 here and 19. 19. So 19 is it a factor of 152 or not? Let's see. 19 into 7. Let's do 19 into 7. 63. 9 ones are 7 ones are 7. 133. No. Maybe 8. Let's add 19 more. Yes. It becomes 152. That means 19 into 8. 19 8s are 152. I get the remainder as 0. That means 19 is the HCF of all three numbers. 57, 95 and 152. So my final answer is 19. We can check this out by dividing 19 by 57. We get a perfect number, whole number. 95 divided by 19, once again it doesn't leave a remainder. 152 by 19, we have seen already is 8. So here when 59 is divided by 19, definitely it is going to leave a remainder of 2. 98 divided by 19 is going to leave a remainder of 3. And similarly here the remainder will be 1 when 153 divides 19. So it will be, this is my final answer that is 19 is the required number. My next question, find the biggest number which when increased by 3 is exactly divisible by 105, 189 and 273. So here I have a different kind of problem where there is no remainder. We have to find out a number which when increased by 3 gives me a perfect divisor for all these three numbers. So directly here we have to find out the HCF of these numbers. Let's take the first two numbers together. 189 and 105. By long division method we find out the HCF. 105. So what I am getting is 4. 84. Now this comes here as the dividend. 105 here. 84. Ones are 84. 1, 2, 21. Now it comes here as the dividend. 21. Fours are 84. So here I get the remainder as 0. It is to check 21 and 273. Whether 21 is exactly divisible by 273 or not. Let's see. 273, 21. 21 into 10 is 210. That means 
because 273 is bigger than this 210 that means it's multiple more than 10 21 into 11 no I think it's 21 into 13 that makes us 273 so 21 into 13 will make it 273 and the remainder will be 0 as I said the moment remainder becomes 0 this final divisor is my HCF but here we don't stop because our question was what is the number which when increased by 3 is exactly divisible by all 3 numbers. So our HCF definitely is 21 no doubt but is it our required number? If it is increased by 3 will it be exactly dividing these 3 numbers? No. So 21 minus 3 that is 18 is my required number. Hope you are liking all our videos. So send in your queries and suggestions in the comment box. Share the videos with your friends. And watch out for the latest videos. Press the bell icon. Subscribe to Idea Infinity.